Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, we got some awesome cold weather here in Virginia finally. The ground is actually frozen and that, that's a great time to skid logs. Uh, so I dropped a pretty big tree today and I'm in the process of uh, skidding the logs out, getting them over to my sawmill. And uh, I wanted to make a quick video to talk about uh, different types of chain hooks and the type that you'd want to use for skidding logs. It's called a choker. And uh, this will be this will be a pretty short video, but I figured it's worth doing because I know a lot of people skid logs uh, with the wrong kind of chain hooks. It ends up being more work, kind of a pain sometimes. So uh, I think this will be a good topic. So stick around and we'll get started. Okay, so I have some uh, chain hooks here laid out on the log that I, th I thought we'd, we'd talk through. Over on the left are kind of the typical chain hooks you're going to run into. This is known as a slip hook. Uh, this used to have a little uh, flap on it to hold the chain in, but that's that's long since gone. Over here we have a grab hook. That's meant to hook on to a chain link um, and, and stay put. And then over on the right here we have what's known as a choker hook. And this is uh, this has been around for uh, probably over, well over 100 years. Uh, this is the type of chain hook that evolved to be uh, appropriate for logging use. Uh, for, for skidding logs, just any type of situation where you need to grab onto a log with a chain. Um, it's It's got the ability to slip so that the chain can choke up on a log, but it's got a fairly narrow uh, opening here and uh, uh, you kind of this C hook shape to it. And that's gonna help retain the chain if there's any slack or while you're rigging things up. So I see a lot of people will use these slip hooks um, for choke for choking on a log and skidding and you know with or without the flap these are still not ideal um, uh, without the flap of course the chain can slip right out uh, with the flap you're going to end up actually breaking that flap that's why this one's gone i'm sure this was used for skidding at some point um, and so technically you can use this to choke up on a log but uh it's really not made for it it's not uh it, it's it doesn't have the, the really the properties we're looking for that uh, a true choker does. I've seen people um, skid logs with these grab hooks. Uh, this will not let you choke down on a log. Uh, basically, this is going to hook onto, you know, uh, a link in the chain. Um, and, you know, if you if you have slack, so be it. If it's too tight, so be it. Uh, this really doesn't give you the flexibility to choke down on a log and, and hold uh, uh, as well uh, or at all really um, compared to what you can get with a choker now there's nothing special about these types of hooks uh, except you're probably not going to find this in your average uh, local store unless you have a place that specializes in logging or forestry um, so this is something you most likely will have to order online and uh, I'll give some links below I'm not affiliated with any of the companies but uh, I'll give some links where you can look at choker hooks. Uh, this one, I bought this probably 15 years ago. I, I remember it was only like five or six bucks. Not expensive at all. Um, a lot of times, uh, if you look at companies that sell logging winches, uh, skidding winches, things like that, they'll also offer uh, choker hooks. And this this one is from uh, uh, Eigland, and I'm pretty sure that's a, a skidding winch company. Uh, but but a lot of companies make these are not expensive and uh, uh, it's something you can find um, online. So so that's a choker hook. Um, I highly recommend this if you're going to be skidding any logs at all. It's just got all the characteristics and properties you're going to want for doing that job. It's going to stay put when you want it to. It's going to slip, and come off when you want it to. Um, and I've I can't ever think of any time that I've had trouble with uh, using a choker hook like this. They just work great. So uh, I'm going to set up the camera now and uh, show you how I hook up to log and, and skid it on out.
Okay, so if we get a close up, you can see how that hook's uh, doing its job. It's gonna allow slip. And uh, this also shows really one of the great benefits if you can skid with a three point hitch on your tractor. You're gonna get that log way the heck off the ground. Really only that very butt end is gonna be dragging and that'll keep your logs clean for the sawmill. Uh, so that's a real good thing. So let me uh, set the camera back down here and we'll get this log out of the woods.